Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's look at new keyboard shortcuts in the effects control panel in Adobe Premiere Pro. If you've ever done any kind of animation in After Effects, then you know how valuable the F9 key is for easy ease, which is a great way to make your animations look natural. I've got a whole tutorial about how to make natural animations uh, by changing from linear keyframes. Linear keyframes are very digital robotic keyframes, but uh, ease in, ease out, and easy ease. Easy ease is only in After Effects, but we do have ease in and ease out in Premiere Pro. It just makes things more natural. You used to have to right click and enter a menu for uh, any time you wanted to change this, but now we finally have assignable keyboard shortcuts. Let's go have a look. Here's my little animation. I've got my little happy emoji guy come up. He stays on screen for a bit and then he goes away. So in this area here, I'm going to make him move off the screen. So here's the, the first keyframe where he's just sitting there and I'm going to move him over to here. Then we'll move him up to there. And you might wonder why I'm not grabbing him right on the actual program window. That's because this animation is made up of a bunch of shapes. So if I just try to grab him, he's going to uh, be taken apart in pieces. So I'm just using the vector motion. Now, any of the motion, any keyframes here in the effects control panel uh, will work. It does not have to be the motion settings. So let's finish up with him down there. And then just at the end, I'll copy this keyframe where we started, copy and paste. So let's just look at this little animation. So let's play that now. So he jumps around the screen and then pops back on the phone and disappears. Okay, so let's set that up. In the edit menu on Windows Premiere Pro menu on the Mac keyboard shortcuts. And I've got a full tutorial on creating keyboard shortcuts. So it's easiest to go to the command section at the top and just go to the effects control panel. Um, and that way we've isolated only keyboard shortcuts for that panel. So as I scroll down, you'll see there's keyframe spatial and keyframe temporal. Spatial, space, temporal is time. I, I just stick to temporal myself. So there's there's Bezier and there's Ease In. So let's make these Bezier ones. And over on, on the right, in the shortcut section, you click and then tap the key. So I'm going to tap F9 to create a Bezier interpolation. And then back to linear interpolation, I'll click and tap F8. So you can see up at the top, I now have two keyboard shortcuts. And I could save this as a special uh, setup and name it if I want, but I'm just going to leave that as is and click OK. So now I've set those two keyboard shortcuts. And anytime I have the effects control panel in focus, so the blue line around it, and I have one or more keyframes selected, I can convert them. So as I mentioned before, this is a linear animation. So it's jumping around that way. And if we open up our position keyframes, we can see it's linear, it's very robotic. So I can select all of these now. And in the past, I would have to right click, go down to Temporal and then go to Bezier. But now I can just select those keyframes and now tap the F9 key. And you can see it's a much more natural animation. He pops off the phone, here he comes, wee, boop, and back. Now, one thing I want to uh, mention is that occasionally when I've had a linear keyframe animation and I convert them to Bezier, the beginning or the end or both tend to drift. This is especially true for motion graphics templates. If I've got the very specific animated menu parts that are coming up and down. So if that happens, I tend to put the linear keyframes on the outside and leave Bezier keyframes in the middle. So we can change that. Remember, I could select that keyframe, now hit F8, hit this one, F8. Now I've got linear and Bezier keyframe animations all done very, very quickly and easily. 
So there you go, brand new keyboard shortcuts that you can assign. Remember, they're not assigned to those keyboard shortcuts you, I just did, so you'll have to pick the ones you're comfortable with, but now you can assign those keyboard shortcuts and quickly change all of the animated uh, keyframes inside the effects control panel. All right, hey, if you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. You wanna support us some more, you can do that through PayPal. There's a link in the description and one on the front of the channel. Thank you so much to our wonderful PayPal supporters who end up getting a bunch of goodies like uh, all of these emojis, these extra ones that I uh, created. I am going to put those on the, the uh, member site of uh, videoreveal.com. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith and it's my job to keep you up to date on all the new stuff in Adobe Premiere Pro.